Charlie Brown. You got a rock, Charlie Brown. And stay tuned after the story for the unboxing. See what came in the mail. The leaves are changing colors and falling from the trees. There's a chill in the air. There are pumpkins all around. It's Halloween. Charlie Brown loves Halloween. Tonight, Charlie Brown is going trick-or-treating. First, he needs to figure out what to wear. Charlie Brown decides to dress up as a ghost. It should be an easy costume to make. All he needs to do is cut two eye holes out of a sheet. Charlie Brown meets up with his friends. Really, Charlie Brown, what are you supposed to be? asks Lucy. A ghost, Charlie Brown replies. I guess I had a little trouble with the scissors. Lucy is dressed up as a witch. A person should always pick a costume which is in direct contrast to one's own personality, she says. Someone else dressed up as a ghost joins the group. Hi, Pigpen, says Frida. How did you know it was me? Pigpen asks. Even a sheet can't cover the cloud of dirt that always surrounds Pigpen. Snoopy is also in the Halloween spirit. He wears a red scarf, goggles, and a green cap. It's the World War I flying ace, explains Charlie Brown. Now I've heard everything, says Lucy. Time for trick-or-treating. The group of friends walks to the first house. Lucy rings the doorbell. Trick or treat, everyone shouts when the door opens. Everyone gets a little something in his or her bag. On the way to the next house, everyone compares their treats. I got five pieces of candy, says Lucy. I got a chocolate bar, says Violet. I got a quarter, says Pigpen. Charlie Brown looks in his bag. He can't believe his eyes. I got a rock, he moans. The group goes to the next house. Trick or treat, everyone shouts when the door opens. Once again, everyone gets a little something in his or her bag. I got a candy bar, says Lucy. I got three cookies, says Violet. I got a pack of gum, says Pigpen. Charlie Brown looks in his bag. I got a rock, says Charlie Brown. Not again. Charlie Brown hopes things will be different at the next house. Trick or treat, everyone shouts when the door opens. I got a popcorn ball, says Lucy. I got a fudge bar, says Violet. Charlie Brown looks in his bag. This time, he is not surprised. I got a rock, he tells everyone. After trick-or-treating, Charlie Brown and his bag of rocks goes to Violet's Halloween party. Lucy asks if Charlie Brown wants to be a model. Charlie Brown is honored, but not for long. Lucy only wants to draw a face on the back of his head. Thank you, Charlie Brown, says Lucy. You made an excellent model. The next day, Charlie Brown tells Linus all about the night before. Another Halloween has come and gone. And all I got was a bag full of rocks, he says. At least there's always next year. Thanks for sticking around for the unboxing. So I've got two packages to open, so let's get started. Let's open this one first. Okay, so the first 
first one is Frankie's Scared of Everything. Look at that cover. That is so cool. There's the back there. You would be scared too if your own brain was out to get you. Follow Frankie as his imagination creates robots, beasts, sea creatures, even women on this Technicolor adventure. Well, let's take a look inside. Oh, wow. That, that is so cool. Love the colors. Oh, wow. Look at that. With his options gone, what is Frankie to do? Ah, oh, he knows. Off to Mom's room. Those are some cool illustrations. Very, very neat. So that's the first book. Now let's get to the second package. This one's a little bit thicker. See what's in this one. And I just want to thank my friends at Media Masters Publicity for sending me these packages. Do it one at a time here. Let's just take this out. Oh, it's super cute. Disney stories for two year olds. Aw, that is so cute. Aw. Let's see the back here. Disney stories for two year olds. Join Mickey, Minnie, and all their friends in this collection of stories just right for two year olds. This treasury includes 14 stories with short, simplified text and bright illustrations. Perfect for youngsters to follow along as parents introduce the adventures of Mickey and his friends. Whether it's a camping adventure, the story of when Mickey first met Pluto, or a case of missing flowers from Minnie's garden, this collectible makes a perfect gift for anyone turning two. What a great book for Christmas coming up. Wow. And these books are all available right now at your local bookstore. Oh, look at that. So it's just a series of different stories, which is nice. A different story every night for bedtime or whenever during the day. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Very nice. Let's see what the next one is. Actually, I think there's just the one more in here. Yeah, just the one more. So we've got Disney stories for three-year-olds. Oh, that's so cute. I wonder if they have it for different age groups. Not quite sure. So this one, from Peter Pan to 101 Dalm sorry, from Peter Pan to 101 Dalmatians, three-year-olds will be introduced to wonderful Disney adventures in this collection. This treasure includes classic Disney stories retold and simplified for a younger audience. With the same spirit as the intended versions and paired with colorful illustrations, this book is perfect for parents introducing their children to classic Disney adventures. With 14 stories to choose from, youngsters can treat themselves to a favorite Disney classic story anytime. Oh, let's look at this one. Oh, wow. Looks like Lion King is in there. Yep, Lion King. Lady in the Tramp. Oh, so these are all the classics. Oh, wow. This would be a really good treasure to have for any age. Look at that. Aladdin. Looks like that was Pinocchio, too. And then Dalmatians. Did I see Pinocchio? Alice in Wonderland. Maybe I didn't. Wow. Very, very nice. What a beautiful book. Once again, thank you to my friends at Media Masters Publicity for sending these out to me. And they are all available at your local bookstore. So we'll just recap here. So we got the two Disney stories for two-year-olds and three-year-olds. And then this one... Frankie's Scared of Everything. Very, very nice. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you enjoyed this story, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. See you next time.